Sunshine Daisy's production presents, Issues About Gender. For our objectives, we are going to know what is gender mainstreaming and what is the extent of how the education system pushes people in gender roles and jobs. In many cases, public policies have been based on the needs of the dominant group who have traditionally been the decision makers, mostly men. The women's rights movement, an increased presence of women in decision making, strong commitments to women's human rights at all levels, and the development of gender studies and sex disaggregated data, have all helped unveiling the fact that public policies often did not take into account women's differing needs in situations. Definition: Gender mainstreaming is not a policy goal in itself, but a means to achieve gender equality. This notion started in the Platform for Action adopted at the United Nations Fourth World Conference on Women, held in Beijing, China, in 1995. It highlighted the necessity to ensure that gender equality is a primary goal in all areas of social and economic development. It involves the integration of a gender perspective into the preparation, design, implementation, monitoring and evaluation of policies, regulatory measures and spending programs, with a view to promoting equality between women and men, and combating discrimination. For example, whenever women or men are in a particularly disadvantageous position there comes the gender-specific activities and affirmative action. Gender-specific interventions can target women exclusively, men and women together, or only men, to enable them to participate in and benefit equally from development efforts. Gender mainstreaming aims to solve sometimes hidden gender inequalities. Gender analysis and gender impact assessments are crucial tools for gender mainstreaming. These tools support the practical implementation of gender mainstreaming. Meanwhile, education system pushes people into male and female roles and jobs to the extent of having it as a norm or being acceptable. According to Kislislan and Dictis, 2011, schools contribute to the cognitive and emotional formation of students through knowledge-based and value-laden practices because it is a socialization institution where students come to understand their social identity. For example, teachers behave differently to students according to their gender. While they are more gentle toward girls, they interact with boys in a more robust way. These experiences may turn into stereotypical thinking of students towards others in society, inevitably building onto the male practices such as looking at gender inequality to be normal. In fact, some of Kislislan and Dicta's 2011 findings presented that university students still have a traditional perspective on gender roles. When it comes to jobs, stereotypical gender roles, developed in school, identify masculine traits in terms of instrumental personality traits, such as independence, assertiveness and dominance, while feminine traits refer to expressive traits such as sensitivity, empathy and nurturing. Holland's theory of career choice asserts that females tend to be more interested in social and artistic occupations, such as teacher, social worker, painter, and writer than males who are inclined more towards realistic occupations such as mechanic, carpenter and engineer. Gender roles have been found to be an important factor in predicting young adults' career interests and expectations. People tend to become interested in occupations that reflect their gender roles. Furthermore, Eurodagal Arkin Ministry of National Education, Turkey said that many women's work in academic institutions, where academic women are traditionally published less than academic men. When we look at this research we can't see the fair job environment for both men and women. Because the meaning of gender is negotiated in everyday interactions, and it is permeated by cultural norms. Hence, the strength of a relationship between teachers' attitudes toward gender roles and their attitudes towards reflects the school environment. The teachers play the most important role and functions as the starting point and the key agent of change at all levels of education. It is, therefore, crucial that teachers are trained to identify and counter gender bias to help fight the problem of sexism prevalent in the country. That is why, education of teachers is of vital importance in infusing every stage of education with gender equality.